Okay, in this video, I'd like to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video 25, and I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstorials.com. So, I'm going to discuss the Laplacian, which I've defined there, written there in front of you. So, I, I might say grad squared if I want to, if I want to speak about it, I suppose. But it's del 2x, del, um, del, sorry, del 2 del x squared plus del 2 del y squared plus del 2 del z squared. Previous videos to this are the quotient and product rules. I did quite a few videos on those. So, how do we get the Laplacian? If we start with the gradient of a vector field, okay, so we're going to start with the gradient of A. Well, there's the gradient of A there, where I'm implying the, uh, the unit vectors i, j, and k. If I then take the divergence of that, we're going to get back, of course, a scalar. So the shorthand notation we use is this grad squared or Laplacian notation. So it's going to be del 2 del x squared on A, plus del 2 del y squared on A, plus del 2 del z squared on A. And the important point to note is that it is a scalar. So this Laplacian comes up everywhere in physics. So we, that's why it's called, a, it's called um, we give it a particular name. So grad squared, is, is, it gives us back a scalar. So it's the scalar operator. But what's interesting really, and probably more important, is that we seem that we can we can define the Laplacian of a vector, which is an apparent contradiction, but it's only a matter of shorthand uh, convention. Okay, so let's say, for example, we have a vector, uh, we, we have the following vector, which is a sub x in the i hat, a sub y in the j, and a sub z in the k hat direction. So if, for some way, we can define, if we took the Laplacian of the x component of some other function, namely t, and it could perhaps equal the, the x component of our vector a. And grad squared um, t sub y might be a sub y, and grad squared a sub, uh, t sub z might be a sub z. If that is the case, then we're able to define the Laplacian of our, of, of our vector. Because we're able, to, well, we're able to know or define it as follows. So in actual fact, there are three components. So we'll say there are three components. Um, you need to take the each of the x, y, and z second derivatives in order to get one dimension in our in our in our um, vector field. So sometimes people might rewrite it this way. So you might say grad squared a is grad squared t sub x in the i hat, grad squared t sub y in the j hat, or grad squared t sub z in the k hat. But to be honest, more often than that, people are lazy in what they say. They actually just say t, but it's implied. It's it's it isn't actually t, but it's kind of implied. It's like I say, it's shorthand uh, convention. Okay, so like I said, the Laplacian comes up all over physics. It's, it gives you back a scalar, and you can define, you can almost define the, the Laplacian of a vector in that way, provided you understand what you're talking about or what, what it actually means. So that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and you might also click on universityphysicstutorials.com.